shot. What is going on guys? Day five vlog four here at the new place. I've gotten a lot of requests for a house tour. Here's the thing guys. I don't mind showing you guys the back of the house and the videos and stuff like that. I'm kind of torn on the idea of showing you guys through my house just in case anybody would be able to trace back the listing by recognizing the photos and getting the address and our location, all that stuff. It's not that I don't trust you guys. All of the fans and the followers and loyal customers that have been around for a long time, I know you guys wouldn't mean any harm by anything, but there's always, there's always that one person that would love nothing more than to try to ruin your life just a little bit if they can. So I'm going to have to probably pass on that, at least for now, unless an opportunity comes up to where I can show bits and pieces without, you know, doing a full blown home tour because I really love our home and I would hate to get annoyed living here like we did with the last place and then have to move again. We do have a new face for the channel showing up here today. So we have been filming essentially solo for a long time. It's pretty much just always been me, sometimes my wife, and then randomly somebody would be stopped by at the house like my buddy Jeshua or my buddy Joshua way back when we used to film together every once in a while. But it was there was never anybody that was like recruited on specifically to help us out with content that is like working with us for content stuff. He's gonna be here very soon. He's gonna be helping with some of the shop work in here, just lending me a hand, holding the camera sometimes, doing some of the editing, some of the social media stuff. He's gonna be helping out with, with a lot of different little things that it can be overwhelming at times to maintain all by myself, along with the business and all that. Because for the most part, I think a lot of you guys know this, but maybe not all of you, LNP is completely family owned and operated right now, and everything is ran by Reagan and myself other than some of the order fulfillment. Some of that stuff is outsourced, but everything else that you see, all the website work, all the video work, all the social media, all the customer service, which make sure you contact the customer service email located on our website at the bottom of the website, because if you don't contact the email and you contact a different email from somewhere else, that's like on a Facebook page or something that's not linked to the customer support, we may not see it, so make sure it's a customer support email which is always located on the website. That being said, we've always done all of it, just us two, and so it's gonna be nice having a little bit more help, at least for a while, and seeing where this goes. This might open some new doors and opportunities, having some more free time and some more help, so let's hope this goes in a good direction. For the beginning of this video, I'm going to be laying out a tarp. I'm gonna be moving those wagons in the back, laying a tarp out, and we're gonna be trying to condense all the boxes and all the stuff in here onto that tarp to try to keep it from getting too damp on the bottom. The floor is fairly dry and it rained all night, so that's that's a good sign. Um, there's a little tiny wet spot here, but you know this is the lowest part of the shop right at the entrance. But it's a good sign that water is not being held actually in this building. It's it's high enough compared to the ground around it to where it doesn't hold water. So we're gonna lay a tarp down, and try to get all the boxes and everything condensed onto that for now, so we can start to tear off the shelving here because the shelving is hideous. It's got to go, and it's all just nailed on, which has been fine for a while but it's got some swaying in it and it's just not the style that we're gonna wanna go with in this shop long term. So I'm gonna re be removing that so we can fully tin the interior with paneling and it's gonna look so much better. But let's get to starting to condense everything so we can tear off the shelving. Some good progress. We got Ty here. He's actually my cousin, and he's going to be helping with filming work, some food plot work, deer management stuff, yeah. some of the social media work, and one of the most important things coming up here soon is the freaking shop work. We got to rip off all the shelving all the way around. We got some of it done over in the corner over here. 
And then we're gonna repurpose the boards that are good. So like some of the longer two by fours, we're gonna just pop the nails out and save them. And then uh, we're gonna use that for some of the other stuff we're gonna need soon. But for the most part, all this is coming off because I don't need to store old garage door panels for parts of the barn uh, because I, I don't need that. I'm not gonna, if I ever have to redo the steel, I'm not doing garage doors again. <laughs> like, no. like at that point, I would just do it the right way. So I'm not gonna save the little pieces uh, because at some point I will probably end up repaneling the barn just for now. It works. It's not the prettiest on the outside, but it works. And all the inside that makes it known that it's a garage door is all gonna be covered up with actual steel and trim. And so it'll, it'll look good, it'll function. So we're gonna continue on with ripping off the shelf and getting this all taken out and hopefully we can get it all knocked out today. Dude, how is the shelf hanging on? I don't know. I thought they were about to collapse under their own weight. Well, I didn't even know it went all the way across. <laughs> oh, heck no, dog. No. <laughs> Let's get this off first. Let's watch the nails. Think I'm gonna get some set there. Why don't you get some She's coming. What's with all the nails? Dude, it's getting it going though. Let me get on this side once. We just gained all kinds of room. The shelving was probably, what'd you say, three feet deep, 36 inches. I mean, it, it was pretty big shelving. We got it all ripped off. There was a second layer up top. It's all pulled down, everything's out. The only thing we gotta do yet is either hammer in nails or pull them out in the posts where they're in the way. And then other than that, we got a nice clean slate to get ready to start hanging steel, but we might end up having to wait on that until they get the new rafters and new steel roof put on just because right now it'd be, you know, they don't want to take the chance of damaging the steel if it goes all the way up to the top there. So we might hold off on that for a little bit longer. Hopefully the roof can get done soon, but then it's all going to be paneled, all new white interior panels on the whole thing. We tried to save cut nails and pull nails and all the boards that we could save just because with the price of lumber, you know, I mean, it can't hurt to just save some, save some boards, you know what I mean? never a bad idea right now so we got all these most of them are denailed or cut other than a few and then we got a bunch of scrap pieces that really aren't much much of anything some of them are busted some of them just have like so many freaking nails in them and they're all cut angles and weird so most of that we're just going to burn and then this crap is mostly all just junk too it's all pretty rotted and banged up so we're going to be tossing most of that out but not bad not bad for what two hours work three hours work maybe we got it all pulled and ready to ready to hang some steel that is going to be a wrap on this video we did open up a whole bunch of wall space though we got everything moved into the middle of the barn here looks like a cluttered mess right now but it's all in the middle so we can work around the wall space and we're probably going to keep it like this until concrete needs to get done then throw this all in the trailer and pull it out park it in the garage that was going to be it for today's video i got to head out to my brother's grad party thanks so much for watching thanks so much for tuning in we're gonna try to get this hammered out get this done get to working on some projects in here so that way we can actually 
tear into something and have a nice floor to roll around jack stands and creepers and everything else to be able to actually work on something so stay tuned guys hopefully we can get this all knocked out and get this going here and if you have not done so yet you can enter to win this 95 12 up cummins plus five thousand dollars cash there's only 10 or 12 days left to enter to win that truck and then that giveaway is gone all you got to do to enter is go to lmp gear Com. You place an order on the store and you're automatically entered to win. And if you order a mystery box, you get 20 times entries when you subscribe to a monthly mystery box. So definitely consider doing that if that interests you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.